<laughs> You've been prepping? <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> aren't it isn't it yeah it? probably yeah. wasn't it <laughs> yeah yeah hype train hype train hype train i can't even speak hype train yeah it's something you should get on i think i, I don't know it's a good thing is that <laughs> is that a new train in sweden or <laughs> no <laughs> it's just an internet thing i think is it I think it's a streamer thing that if some uh, if a lot of enough people give you know bits shares money whatever it's called and and uh, and if people tag along it's worth more in some sense I don't really understand but that's a hype train so you oh, yeah, trying to point. encourage people to give more money to you basically okay. if you're a streamer I've never okay. understood streamers so yeah. I don't know. I know what party streamers are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ex- uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Ah, yes, so. yes, yeah. that's exactly yes. it. Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> the first word on the Google later list. <laughs> party streamer. Yeah. Yeah. New to me. Is that is that like an air streamer that you have a party on? God. Or in, perhaps. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> uh, good to have the half pint uh, well and done beforehand. Uh, <laughs> that's the pre show we don't release. <laughs> Welcome to episode 61 of the number one crude mistakes podcast with Glenn from the number, 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 one, number one project. Still, so, yeah, fumble again. Might be a recurring theme. Who knows? KJ from Crude But Efficient and Hover from Behind the Mistakes. <laughs> no one is at all tired here. Everyone is 100% focused on everything. We are. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, a bit late to the party, but season six. Woohoo! Huh? 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always um, something to celebrate. I'm just going to put in really early because I've got a visual on you both. Abar, I just need to say you've got some milk on your moustache. I will not be able to concentrate <laughs> and carry on. I thought that was kind of cute. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something the listeners are, are missing out on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. I have that sexy, uh, growly, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> phlegm-ridden voice. <laughs> I don't think you can say sexy and phlegm rhythm in the same sentence. <laughs> There's probably a niche out there somewhere for it, yeah, though, right? Probably. Yeah, but I hope it's small. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm not part of it, so... Yeah. It's probably someone you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how's your week been? What about you, Glenn? My week's been good, KJ. What in what I way? Do? It's just been not very troublesome, which is nice. Mm. <clears throat> nice steady week. Um, got plenty of making done. Mm. And I have finished my scrap wood build off, which is very nice feelings because now I can move on to the next thing. Well, I can move on to the next thing after I've done editing the video, which I've only edited two minutes worth up to yet. That's not going so well. <laughs> well, that depends. Uh, are you going for a, for a whole hour, full hour, or is it a quick, shorter thing? Oh, no, this one's going to be a long one. Yeah. I'm going to look at whatever Havar's biggest video is, and I'm going to double that. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's hopefully just going to get it down to about 15, 20 minutes. I think that's about hmm? all, all that people could stand of me. Nice. But I started editing yesterday and realised I'd been a right chatty Cathy in the in the first few bits. So yeah, yeah. I've been uh, been talking to the camera quite a lot, and then I certainly remember I didn't talk to the camera much at the very end. So 
it's all going to be me at the start and hopefully the project will take over later on. <laughs> <laughs> or just extend it over, like uh, uh, turning it into a, uh, a voiceover instead. But uh, maybe may- it doesn't work with the video. Maybe, maybe. But it's left me a little bit confused. I actually, it's turned out so well. I'm really, really happy with it. But it's confused me on what my next project should be. So I was going to make um, an instrument type thing or a noise maker. So I'm not quite sure what it's, even, even if it's got a name, this instrument I want to make. But then I've been inspired also to make a new desk for the office mm. in a similar sort of style. And that also requires a bookshelf making. And I thought if I was building a bookshelf and a desk, then I'd maybe partition this wall across here as well. So I've got a little cubby hole rather than having a, a bright blue curtain creating mm. the room. So, yeah, it's left me a little bit confused on what to start next. I'd say all of them. All of them, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out of your comfort zone and do everything all at once. I think it's only fair. I mean, <clears throat> it's your punishment for being an overachiever and finishing early on the scrap wood. I mean, that's a... I mean, <laughs> puts the rest of us in a bad light. You have, you've nearly done yours, haven't you? <laughs> you should think although I, on the subject that KJ mentions I'm I'm running several projects in parallel and I'm going to have a week holiday next week I'm not going to get shit done except drinking and eating pasta so yeah get anywhere nice yeah I'm going to Rome oh nice that's a romantic destination to go to isn't it <laughs> Sure is. So that's uh, oh. why I brought my mom. <laughs> <laughs> nice romantic holiday with your mother. Sounds lovely. Yeah, she, uh, where she invent? No, I invited myself. Yeah, I, uh, she, is mommy she, paying? <laughs> yeah, uh, she uh, she usually have a week in the um, like before Christmas where she goes to somewhere warmer and have a week of vacation. And I said, well. Having an old lady going by herself, that's not... Uh, you You need a chaperone, don't you? And then <laughs> I kind of invited myself along. <laughs> Were you just uh, terrified by the thought of ending up with an Italian stepdad? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be there so he can uh, at least be the one who chooses. Yeah. You can call me Papa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit more flat of me, wasn't it? That? <laughs> Yeah, it was scary. Was was what it was. A little bit of the count off a Sesame Street. (laughs) It's me, (laughs) Daddio. That's rectified it, KJ. I don't know. Let's change the subject. Uh, Or do you have any... Is it just going to be a a food and relaxation uh, holiday? Or do you have any plans other than meandering around the city? No plans. So, uh, of course, it, it, that drives my wife crazy because you, but you, you should have something. You should have a list of things you would like to see. I mean, nope. We are going there, finding the hotel, and then <laughs> the closest pizza shop. <laughs> so, you yeah, should, no I can plans. Recommend, you, recommend you go to Pompeii. That's a fantastic place, well worth seeing. Yeah, I'm going I'm to break down here and be completely honest. Uh, I have a list. It has one item on it, and it's actually Pompeii. After oh, you sweet. recommended it, so yeah, it's a it's a two. Yeah, it's a bit shy of two hours train ride one way, so it's yeah. it's nice to do one day. I would say that one thing does not make a list, so you're still good in the not having a list. Thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> but don't get another one because then it's it's a list. It, it's a slippery slope. I, I realize yeah. that, so yeah, I'm trying to keep it on the down low. How's the weather there at this time of year? It's a Norwegian summer, I would say. Mm. Mm. Seventeen, nice. eighteen degrees uh, in the daytime, which is <laughs> perfect, I guess. That's nice. But it's better than here, though, because now there there is frost on the ground when I go to work every morning, so it's it's a bit depressing. So it's going to be nice having a week doing basically nothing. Oh, I have two things on my list. I'm doing the podcast next week from Rome. So <laughs> we're having is... Mumon as a special guest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe we should uh, 
Maybe that's a thing. Let's have mothers on for guests. Not the people we want to have on as guests, but we invite their mothers, and then we, 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 we really get to know them. <laughs> I'll make, I'll make a note of that. <clears throat> That's a really good angle, actually. I quite yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, a, and a question is, of course, when in Rome, isn't that how the saying goes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? yes. So, so we'll, we'll see if we get a, a, a switch up. Something next week, yeah. All right. I think you just said a sentence without saying anything. <laughs> yeah, it was very politician of you. I was just happy I managed to finish a sentence. It's like, <laughs> yep, without saying anything rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without uh, yeah insulting a entire country before even going there. So yeah, yeah. Well, but going back to the the scrapwood build off, how how is everything going for you? Ooh. Because you had it's, great plans and, yeah, and you have made some progress. That, that's the thing, though. It's going to plan, but I early realized that this is going to be a tedious plan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm making not only one, but two of the Maui fish hooks for uh, my two warrior princesses. And uh, of course, I, I carved them using an angle grinder so it is really well it's making short process of everything i mean going from the the glued up uh, scrap wood to the rough shape that was enjoyable quick and then i sat down and i drew all the markings on and i realized oh this is gonna be a pain in the ass and do the engraving part and then uh halfway into the first one you're going to realize oh there's another one where you have to do the exact <laughs> same thing and that that realization hit hard last night when i uh, set up the vacuum cleaner and uh, found like the engraving bit for my dremel multi-tool and rigged everything up and i just started engraving and i haven't done that in years and i forgot i mean the bit <laughs> wanders uh, where the parts where the wood is harder so you really have to put force in then the vibrations in your fingers. So I think I did half of one last night and I had to have a break and my her fingers were like tingling and shaking on their own. And of course I was coughing because even with the vacuum, there is dust everywhere. And <laughs> I'm using birch, which is a semi hard wood. And then of course, whenever we get the burn marks, it, it smells burning wood and it doesn't help with the, a uh, fume extractor because I mean it, yeah, it picks up the dust, but the air and the smell comes out on the other side. And since it's inside my workshop, it still smells like burnt wood. So, <laughs> yeah. But I managed to finish one last night, and uh, I'm guessing I'm going to do the second one tomorrow. And then I need to do some sanding and painting. So it's it's coming along. Nice. How many? Sorry? How many times did you look over to the sea and see and think? How hard could it be to program this? <laughs> um, no, no comment. Um, <laughs> because I, I realized if if I didn't use the angle grinder first, I could just put that glued up board in the CNC and make all the carvings before I cut it up with a bandsaw and just shape the edges. So yeah, I could have saved myself days of work. <laughs> but I mean, you would not have as much soul. <laughs> Exactly, and it's old school, and it look handmade. I mean, by the time it's painted and everything, and and that's a good thing if you look at old tools. And of course, this is, uh, since this is from a <laughs> Disney movie, it's historically correct, obviously. Um, <laughs> but anything made in bone and by hand tools, chiseling away these markings, you will never have a straight line, and there will be imperfections. So I'm just thinking it's uh, authentic. So are you providing the, the daughters with uh, helmets as well? Or are you ready for some head trauma? <laughs> I, I realized that, of course, I, I'm making these for uh, the release uh, premiere of one or two because we're going to the cinemas. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to be thrown out of the cinemas. Uh, I realized that <laughs> yesterday because uh, after I drew the markings on, I just brought them up to like, all right, look what I'm making and just to see if the size is right and everything. And of course, 
I instantly picked one each and started running around the house and screaming and hitting things and <laughs> each other. Uh, so yeah, uh, I need to <laughs> need to bring helmets, and, uh, whatever padding I can strap onto them. I guess. Is this going to be a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, yeah that, I mean, of course, I'm not not tinkering in my workshop without making a video. <laughs> <laughs> not with this much work. <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, that's. Um, I think I oh, so far I only made one start stop camera record uh, mistake. So the, there is a, a few segments missing there, but there is so much sanding and grinding to take uh, from that nobody will notice. Excellent. And of course, I'm just filming the one. I'm not filming doing the both of them. So I mean, it, it's a bit quicker on the second one, not having to move camera angles and yeah. <laughs> and then you can take some B-roll from that as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So how how about you? You've been making some uh, hand tools yourself, haven't you? Yes, yes. My scrap would build off the... I, I mean, it's not really an entry, but it is kind of... It is an entry. Uh, I finished that yesterday, I think it was. Uh, the new handle for the for the sledgehammer. Um, uh, and that's... It, it, it turned out really nice, actually. Uh, I, I decided to go uh, by popular vote with the chair leg. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glenn was on the other team, uh, but yeah. Um, so I more or less only used uh, a rasp uh, and uh, sandpaper to to shape it. To uh, yeah, I cut some bits on the bandsaw as well, but mostly just making a lot of sawdust. Uh, and I, I, I was thinking, hmm, how, how long should I make the handle? And then realizing I really dislike when tools have too short handles, so I just kept in more or less the entire length of the of the chair leg, so it has a, a nice bent curve as well. So it looks <laughs> a bit weird, but it's, I mean, it's easy to pick up. <laughs> put it down. I, I was a bit unsure if I should mention it, but when I saw the first picture, I thought, ooh. A banana handle because it had <laughs> yeah. the shape and yes, some yes. of the angulars. So yeah, so uh, yeah, you should a... paint it yellow then. <laughs> it could very much have been a banana. Yeah, um... <laughs> but, but sorry, we, we need to talk more about this. I mean, you said you used a rasp, and I I did as well. And I've seen a lot of woodworking videos, but you never see them really going to town with a rasp. But I mean, it's brilliant. It is. I mean, of course, it doesn't remove materials as fast as an angle grinder, but it removes materials really fast, and you have good control. And I'm just, why aren't people showing it more, or are they actually not using them? I, I would, I would have custom made rasps that are longer, so that I could really just, yeah, put my back Dig into in, it, and, so and have yeah. an extra handle on the other side as well, so you can <laughs> push it down and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really like it, and the, this is the the classic kind of uh, rasp, not the uh, Shinto rasp. That's the one with the saw blade thingy that everyone uses on the old ma- makers use. I feel like, but I, I don't like that one. I have one, but I prefer the old, old, yeah. old timey ones instead. It feels it feels beefier and digs away more material. I don't actually own one yet. <gasps> I know. Boom, boom, I, need to, boom. I need to fix that straight away. Well, <laughs> Christmas is coming, so yeah. So, Michelle, if you need uh, yeah, now, <laughs> another now, idea, it, yeah, <laughs> now it's sorted. <laughs> <laughs> but KJ, you surprised us all this week. You've got another video out, <laughs> and it's not even March. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would treat you. Yeah. <laughs> It was a lot of fiddling with uh, in what uh, uh, what order I should put all the clips because I mean this is the Scarper Festival and video and I just filmed stuff here and there and in hopes in hopes that I would get something out of it. So it actually uh, was a video because I, I just I saw it here the other day or at least I thought I did but then I was unsure did I just sleep and dream and wake up so I was a bit unsure but yeah since it was so so quick after the event 
Uh, it's hard <laughs> to distinguish. It could very, very much have been a dream. But yeah, I, I took some liberties with the timeline. Uh, the I think that this is the f- one of the first clips where we have an overview of the arena. That's just when they are... It looks like they are... I hope it at least. It looks like they're setting up shop. But then actually, it's the last clip from the show when they're taking everything down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I put all the... Uh, going to Rasmus' uh, workshop at the end. And yeah. But it was a lot of liberties on the timeline. But who knows, other than me. Yeah, and us, of course, because I realized, <laughs> oh, we're driving to... Oh, wait, now we're at Rasmus's? This is, that, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong turn off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that took a turn, literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a very nice video, though, KJ. It was nice to relive some of the memories from it. It was really good. You well, thought, it was, you put it it was okay. I mean, yeah. these kind of videos never perform well. No. It's just, it's a handful of people who actually enjoy them. And, I mean, I like to have them more or less like a like a travel diary yeah. uh, for me to remember what I've done. And I mean, <laughs> at least some people like them. You're really good at remembering to take plenty of footage when you go to these things. That's that's what amazes me more <laughs> than anything else. I think I have well, four, four photos and <laughs> three of them are for the family. <laughs> well, this is just the antisocial part of me who all through, I mean, all through uni, I... Went to a lot of parties, but I always have had my di- di- digital camera with me. Uh, so I took photos of everything and never really participated because I view all the parties through the lens of the of the camera. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just hiding. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> oh, the other was awkward. He's talking to people. I just take my camera and take some pictures instead and, and disappear and have that as, a, as an excuse. Yeah, Michelle was amazed that you caught me on camera looking so shippable at one stage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you are the social. Uh, I mean, social media is that's in real life as well. So, <laughs> being social with people is well, we're all on social media, KJ. <laughs> yeah, but you're the social media manager for the podcast, so it's <laughs> <That's> your <true. laughs> it's your thing to actually um, entertain people. I mean, I just I was just uh, asleep all the time and wanted to go to bed the entire trip, it felt like. <laughs> you were a tired boy that trip, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> I just spent the, the week after we got back being tired. Yeah, you took um, yours in there. <laughs> yeah. later instead. I only did uh, four to five hours sleep each night we were there and the night before we went as well, so... Yeah, I was uh, absolutely shattered the week after. I'm poorly, so... <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. And today I finally managed to get all the materials <laughs> I think I need for my next project. Because I, it took me three hardware stores to actually get <laughs> the, the wing nuts I was after. Oh because the first one I went to, they were redoing the hardware section. So everything were just placed in shelves here, there, and you couldn't find anything. And the other one I went to, they had all of them, except the one I was looking for. The, oh, no. the M6 <laughs> ones were out. So I had to go to a third one. Luckily, we have I would actually claim too many hardware stores in the vicinity. So <laughs> so yeah, it worked out at the end. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm not nagging and I'm not pressuring you, KJ. I'm just curious. How long do you think this project is going to take you? Um, I don't know how long it will take. Uh, at the moment, I am very much procrastinating starting it for real. I mean, I today I, I mean, I I cleaned the workshop and I filmed <laughs> a sticker throwing event yeah. and put everything in order and. Did everything except start with the <laughs> uh, start with the build, uh, but yeah, I'm not feeling any real pressure to to have it done a certain time. So it it will uh, it will take the time it takes more or less. Fair enough. It's it's really nice not having a deadline or anything floating over you. 
And I think I'm pretty good on track to keeping my aim for the year, which is at least one video a month uh, spread out. I might even be at 12 videos so far. I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty close that's, to it. That's pretty least. impressive. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the pressure just because I had that chestnut slab in the uh, in the workshop, which really slowed things down. It's just, I've not had a proper video out for ages now. <laughs> it feels like it. Yeah, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple of months, I think. So do, do you have, any of you have uh, goals for for what you publish for the year? Or do you just do as you as you go along? I'm quite happy to just as it goes, but um, whenever I do something which takes me away from it, and it's like I say, like the Chestnut Slab or last year doing the a few rooms in the house, I, I do start feeling the pressure then to get one out. But uh, that's the only time, really. But hopefully I'll have a video out by the weekend. Just a little bit more filming to do on that. What about you, Havel? Ooh, it's a good question. Um, I have, of course, given me a deadline, but I also made <clears throat> a list of all the projects I want to do. Um, so I have some on my phone and I have some more written down in my workshop, so now I just compiled everything. Um, so I'm going to probably shoehorn a few more in before Christmas, but I have been thinking since we discussed this last time that once a month is is a good goal. Um, I think I'm already at that level. I need to check afterwards, but there there is no point in in stressing to have something out. I mean, it should be something that you want to do. Um, and I think that I have a couple of smaller ones that they. Sh- I think I need to have a couple of videos I could knock off in a day and a day of editing. So I, I could probably have two videos out in two weeks before Christmas if I really want to. But it's nothing that I need, really. Um, what I'm most on the fence about is, of course, should I this year make another gingerbread house? Because that is always a Christmas thing. But it is... It's a pain in the ass setting it up because you have to make it outside because of the fire hazard and it's really not... I mean, it's a hard thing to film because it... Yeah, I mean, if you adjust the camera for the light that is when you're setting it off, then it will be overexposed when the fire goes off. And so, yeah, it's hard to get a good video and... If you want a good video, you should have the cameras close enough and then you risk ruining your camera. So I'm thinking maybe I should just do it this year. Well, you got the the old uh, two birds with one stone thing, haven't you? You want to set fire to the ice cream truck. You want to set fire to the organ. <laughs> he wants to set fire to everything. And, you know, to set fire to them with the Christmas gingerbread house would be perfect, wouldn't it? That is true, uh, and I could do, uh, I was going to say, a spring cleaning, but I, I could do a, a like end of the year montage, like do that, oh, what you call the, uh, the lady, uh, not uh, something auto, yeah, if, if it doesn't give you joy, get rid of it. So, does it give oh, me yeah. joy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <And then laughs> go on to the next. Yeah, make a model of the organ and everything in uh, the rocket fuel and setting fire to it <laughs> on the piece, so it sets fire to itself. Oh, trying to. I mean, one thing is to shape individual parts in gingerbread and then gluing it together to uh, to look like something else. That's that's difficult enough, but doing that with things that are highly flammable and outside in the freezing, no, uh, that's no. not going to happen. I'm <laughs> just going to have to be honest with myself. Hey, it doesn't sound like uh, the gingerbread house brings you joy, so maybe no. maybe not. Maybe wait until the joy comes back. But I like to see it. It brings <laughs> me joy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Your 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 joy doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your joy doesn't trump his sadness. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, I mean it's. We are getting close, I guess, to setting the the organ on fire. Um, that's another thing. Um, this week, before going away, I, I'm going up in the attic and I'm bringing all uh, the Christmas decorations down uh, in the studio. So I'm going to unpack whatever I need to do as props for the video. So I'm going to put a lot of Christmasy things on the organ while I'm filming B-roll. <laughs> so I'm, I'm at the stage that maybe this week and the week after I'm back, uh, I'll focus on filming B-rolls for the the Christmas video. Um, I made a file yesterday in DaVinci and I put all the lyrics in. So I have the music track and I have the lyrics on screen. So I just have to basically make all the B-rolls that go in. And then of course I'm going to fill in the last bits with me playing various instrument at various degrees of uh, <laughs> accuracy. That's uh, the, the proper term. Have you done the easy bit with the hell chord yet? The easy bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> knock that off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Oh. I did think yesterday that, fuck, I should have started with that. But then again, if I did, I would have lost all motivation. So I'm glad I did that last. Um, <laughs> I had my wife help me carrying the health order in. I rigged it up. Um, uh, tuning the airflow is a bit di- difficult. Uh, I finally jerry rigged it uh, so that it worked like half decently, but it does. I mean, it, it sounds like you would expect. It, it sounds like a, a, a class of 20 plus uh, 11 years old uh, trying to play recorders. And I'm guessing that's what people are expecting. So I'm sitting there and thinking it, it should be doing better, but of course, the tweaks that need for that to happen is way into the 3.0. So I have the hell quarter bits. Of course, I can use the time to try and record more and better and layering in it. So I'm going to try that. But if anything fails, I actually have a complete melody that I can use. Uh, so of course, I can still tweak it to try to make some parts better and Playing around with the volumes and effects and so on, and uh, but yeah, there is, there is a a past the milestone, so it's it's done, so to speak. <laughs> so now I'm I'm starting having ideas for the video. Like uh, I actually <laughs> I keep getting notifications from AliExpress because a lot of shipments are coming now into the country, and I ordered forty bells to make like a sleigh bell instrument for the video but we went to the store a couple of days ago and i found like it's for the kids but it's like a christmas bracelets with those bells on it and i just it, i picked it up and it costs like a pound and like i shook it and this is the sound i need so i actually have like a, a kid's uh toy bracelet working as a sleigh bell and then it got me thinking well in the video I would like to put that around, uh, what do you call it? These stainless steel drink mixers. So, of course, when I do the mm, rattling on shaker. the video, it's going to be oh, like yeah. the shaking the shaker and then, of course, pouring eggnog into a whiskey glass <laughs> on the uh, on the organ. So I'm starting to getting these ideas for, for <laughs> the video and the B-rolls. And, of course, that amounts to a lot of work because... I don't have a drink mixer, so then, okay, do I know anyone who has a drink mixer? And then I have to go and get it, and I have to, like... So I'm I'm realizing I'm just going to start hoarding things for the video and just putting that to one side of the studio, and then I'm going to film towards the other side so I can just swap out props and whatnot, and (laughs) hopefully it will get somewhere before Christmas. You've got a petrol-powered mixer. (laughs) Why why would you reckon not not come from that? That's a bloody good idea you just slap a, a santa hat on it and yeah yeah it's even the, the right labels, color the sleigh bells not might not be heard over the yeah, engine that's, that's, it, that's the issue though but i could always put the sleigh bells on something else um 
So yeah. <laughs> so in that sense, it's taking a week's vacation, being away from the workshop is, is not the best you can do when you're on a deadline, but <laughs> I mean, I, I still think it's uh, achievable. I think it's good for you. Oh I'm yeah, just... very much. I'm, I'm not even bringing my computer, so uh, it's going to be a, a bad audio edition from me uh, recording next Tuesday. It's going to be on my phone <laughs> on a wireless headset, so. Just remember to bring a notebook or something to write down all the amazing ideas you will get when yes. you starve yourself. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm just impressed and kind of jealous that you are you're actually able to play so many instruments. Uh, I mean, even badly is way better than I would be able <laughs> to do. So, yeah. Consider that that your your fellow extremely non uh, being not being able to play instrument, podcast friends are, yeah, are impressed with whatever you uh, you managed to turn it out. Is, it, it is impressive, but then again, I don't need to play all the instruments. I've just got a friend that does it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I had. If only I had a friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that is that's that's a painful realization i mean yes i've played a bit of guitar uh, and bass but it's like we discussed earlier it's just sitting in your own kids room and, and playing and rehearsing and of course you're you're exercising some solos here and you're trying some bits of songs but it is many years since I, i've played a, a song from start to end and doing that flawlessly, I'm, I'm not there. And the beauty now is, of course, I'm, I'm having Audacity up, and I have, I have the drum track, and I think it's the accordion or something that I have as an AI generated track, and then I just have to layer everything on top of that. And if I just play around, all right, that was a 10 second cool clip. So you just save that put it on the timeline and then all right I'll try to play off that again you don't have to do something perfectly for three minutes and that really helps and I know the theory of playing an organ but I don't know how to play an organ so I can I can spend half an hour to figure out all right there I, okay I press those and I do that and of course you can film that 40 times and one of them are decently enough to use <laughs> so <laughs> it is a bit of a uh, I mean, one thing is making the song, and then if someone asks, "All right, uh, can you make an acoustic version and just play it for us with the guitar?" It's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we edit the videos exactly <laughs> but to make I, us look more in... competent than we, are, than we are. But then again, I, I feel not as bad. I saw an interview with. What's his name? Phineas, the the brother of Billie Eilish, uh, and they, he showed how they produced one of her famous songs on like the, the first minute of her singing. It was just cuts of cuts of cuts of cuts of like sixty or seventy takes. So they had all those takes, and all right, I like the way I pronounce that word, so we'll keep that. And I did not like how I sung the la the next one. So, but in that take, I like that one. And they're cutting it together. And I mean, when someone who actually knows how to make music and knows how to sing, uh, also go to that level that they just botch everything and <clears throat> cut it, and it doesn't make me feel so bad for cutting shortcuts because even the professionals do. So, yeah. <clears throat> I remember when I first met Steve, he had a, a recording studio at the bottom of the garden, a different. The bottom of different gardens where he lives now because <laughs> he's got another one now. Uh, but he had a young band wanted recording. They came over and he played me the original recording that they played, and then he did me the cut edited version that he'd done of their recording. And the difference was night and day. I mean, they sounded bloody terrible before they were edited. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's amazing what you can do with it. And I, I remember we did. At my previous work, we, we made like a, a internal music video and we were three people who actually played all the music in advance, in advance before we had everyone sing. And I remember 
you're having a metronome track and you're just playing to that to be on time. And I could not hear that I was off anywhere. Basically, I thought this sounds good. And one of my friend, he is uh, he's working in an acoustic uh, firm uh, and he's uh, uh, an audio technician and he's like no redo it redo it redo it and then of course <laughs> when he said all right this is good enough then it was good enough for him to tweak it and then he just used some uh, quantification function whatever in the software to just pull the notes to match exactly and of course someone would say but then it feels too perfect uh, in compared to someone playing live where you do have some, I mean, not every, I mean, if you look at it in a microscope, not everyone is on the beat at any given time, but I'm going to admit, I can even hear myself here. Um, all right. I'm not totally on that note, but then again, when you've listened to it for 60, 70 times, because you're tweaking the <laughs> lyrics into the, the video is like, <laughs> Or am I just hearing things because I've listened to it for way too much? So you, you get to that point where you're overanalyzing anything and then you have listened to it too much. So you get basically death to whatever is wrong and right. And so, so it's, yeah, I'm going to be crazy by the time this is over. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> yeah, it's speaking. <laughs> Speaking of uh, AliExpress, I also done some shop shopping, not shopping shopping, uh, and bought a little, a really nerdy thing, a uh, USB cable tester, <laughs> <laughs> which is something that is rather useless if you don't need it. But if you like me ha have a problem throwing away USB cables that you might need. Uh, it's re actually really great to have it. So you just plug it in and uh, some lights in the middle shows, is this a uh, cable that is just for charging? Or is it a data cable? Or do, does it have uh, the special that. abilities to actually communicate some <clears throat> extra thingies? Or is it broken? <laughs> because I usually just plug a cable with, I mean, to a phone or something and hook it up to, com to a computer and see, can I use it for data transfer yeah. or not? And <laughs> Is it a dodgy cable? Uh, I don't know, but yeah. So this is marvelous. Need one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanted one of those for a long time, and I forgot about them. But now I want it even more because I've I've got one of these label makers. I've started labeling my cables because I was programming an Arduino, and I spent days trying to make my computer talk to it because I could not upload the software. <laughs> I could not get to read. Like, what the fuck is wrong with it? And I was reading forums up and down. And then I just, is it the cable? And then I swapped cables and ta-da, it went perfectly. So I, <laughs> all right, so that's just a cable for charging. So I started putting labels on them. Like, this one is for the GoPro. This one is for all charging only, but... I probably have a hundred USB cables of various sizes uh, <laughs> that I should have tested because I have been also thinking about, should I just take the cost, throw all of them away and just order the ones which are, <laughs> of course, the most expensive ones that actually have all the functionalities and just have that. But then you suddenly are on a business trip somewhere and fuck, I need a cable. And then you go and buy the cheapest one and I can't, throw away cable so then you bring it home and then you always have that one lingering amongst all the others so whoa yeah, and then, you're, yeah you then you're trying to upload something to a hard drive and like well, why doesn't this work or why does it go so slow so, yeah yeah it's definitely worth saving the cables i I've, I've cut a few up in the past for my projects to power them it's oh really yeah nice. that's also it's yeah. really nice powering something off a usb cable because you can either you know stick it in the socket in the wall or um use a power bank as well out yeah. and about, so yeah, I think they're really good for yeah. powering things. And this one is the Mechanic DT3, uh, and it costs like four <coughs> or five quids or something like that. Okay. Uh, and it's more crazy. And so I have uh, gone through all my cables or all of the, all of the ones I've found, and just written on them charge or data uh, <laughs> yeah. on the on the on the metal with a sharpie. 
so I can remember which one is which as well. <laughs> so that's uh, if if anyone and uh, probably a lot of you uh, have some kind of cable issues, uh, I can really recommend it. I don't think it can solve my cable issues of my daughter stealing the cables and hiding them around the house. <laughs> <laughs> hiding them as well. Does she make that treasure hunt? <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't hide them on purpose. She takes them. She uses them. She doesn't remember where she left them. She denies all the knowledge of them. them. <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. I, maybe that was you. I, I saw a video. It didn't show his face, but he went around and 3D printed clips. Uh, to retain the USB <laughs> charger in the wall, so we just remove the what's it called, the fairing or something, the, the cover, and then he put the brackets behind and he screwed it back in place so that you could never <laughs> remove the USB charger. And then he, uh, at several points in the house, he just had charging cables, but you could not remove them because oh, somebody genius. was stealing them. And I thought. <laughs> I should do that. And I see now that you actually get sockets like normal for two power outlets, but they also have USB. So I'm thinking at, at some point I should just change out a few of the sockets around the house to also have USB ports for charging. Yeah. Every time we do a room, we uh, change the sockets out for USB ones now. Yeah. Hmm. Well worth doing. They're so low to the ground, I would say. That's the... <laughs> That's my only issue with that. Oh. Just get longer cables, KJ. Yeah. But what I yeah. bought, uh, I now have three or four of them. It's these ones. It's, of course, the, the non-grounded yeah. plug that fits everything, but it has like this. Yeah. And I think this one is six, four six, outlets. Four outlets, <laughs> nice. and it's 65 watts. The, the rest are 33. Oh, well, anyhow, it's, it's more than is usually outputted uh, on the USB. But yeah, so, so this one, and then, of course, four USB cables. I don't have enough USB cables for the ports, but I mean, when I'm charging my camera, I'm also charging both of the mics. So I'm using one of these with three cables just for the camera and uh, where I charge that. So, yeah, these are yeah. also really good. Yeah, we're the the charging stand <laughs> that we use, the one I made and talked about on the Bad Audio podcast uh, as well. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I made that thinking, yeah, this is... This is sufficient, big enough, but I mean, it's full at this moment because <laughs> everyone has a phone uh, in our household, all four of us, uh, and the, uh, me and my wife both have work phones as well and uh, a tablet. So, I mean, it's it's a wreck there. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I have a power strip with uh, a lot of USB uh, <laughs> chargers and uh it's actually it was full, so I had to extend it with another power strip. So <laughs> something like that could probably be something I could need. <laughs> but am I the only one who is who is surprised how fast you can charge phones nowadays? Because I mean, I I remember back in the days when you had to put your phone to charge overnight because it took like four yeah. to six hours to charge it. Now it's like. 80% in half an hour if you have a good charger for it. <laughs> it feels... I, I I can't really... I don't really believe it, even though I know it's true. And I, I mean, I'm an electrical engineer. I should know these things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's... Of course, it's... Another thing is that they last quite a long time. I mean, we're not into uh, old Nokia's territory, but, I mean, I put my mine on charge when I go to bed. And it lasts me the entire day unless I'm homesick or whatever and I just spend the entire day watching YouTube videos, then I have yeah. to boost it up. But as you say, I mean, if you put it in while you're going to make yourself a a lunch or something, I mean, it is at 80% when you pick it up again a few minutes later. So it, it's really not an issue with a battery anymore. And although my phone is now three years old and it's starting to, it's, it's not as good as it was new, but still it, it lasts me a day usually. Yeah. Mine only lasts a day if I don't use it <laughs> and it's not that old. <laughs> I think that's got something to do with the apps though. 
we have um, an app called Live360, which is a family app, so we all know where we are. We can track each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that thing is constantly yes. active and doing stuff and, yeah. Yeah, when it's constantly checking GPS <clears throat> signals, I think yeah. that's that can be a, a bit much yeah. perhaps. GPS signals, Bluetooth, I only turn that on when I'm using the headset and Man, my phone sub- all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> and my phone subscription is so good that I don't use the Wi-Fi at home because the 5G on the phone is quicker. And of course, uh, the rest of the family is using the, the Wi-Fi. So uh, then I have that on so it, if you turn on the, off the wi-fi function on the phone as well so it doesn't communicate with your wi-fi network then that saves you a lot of power as well welcome to tech talk <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i even managed a few words in that as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> next Come subject in the last two cars. years <laughs> 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 and that's the first awkward silence of this evening. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I was all last week. And the reason for that uh, awkward silence was I was looking down at the clock, and yeah, maybe we should end the main episode with the tech talk, and then uh, whatever's left on the list, we can uh, bring into the half pint. Do you have a list? Yeah, I, I'm. <laughs> I uh, come planned, you know. <laughs> Can't live this, without lists. I think we had this conversation at the beginning. And you, I'm pretty sure you said you didn't prep. <laughs> yeah, we did full circle, and I mean, it's allowed to change your mind. I mean, I'm, I'm progressive uh, adult. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you really an adult? <laughs> well, you do have kids, of course. That makes you an adult. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Well, you you have to tag along over to the half pint, but uh, might not be as much of an adult as I'm portraying here because uh, in my next project, I'm planning to get banned from YouTube and then probably be put on some lists. So, yeah, that's a (laughs) teaser for you. (laughs) Let's hear about that. (laughs) That sounds great. So, uh, until then, then. Until then, then. See you there. (laughs) Wherever that Bye. might be. Have Bye. a good one. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>